One local agency in our area is calling for people to step up and provide temporary homes to foster children in need. Local 23's Jeremiah Wilcox spoke to Hands of Healing about the need for parents. Edna Martinez Hernandez helps children leave some of the worst situations despite the pandemic. She's an administrator at Hands of Healing, an organization here in the Valley. We're in the service of keeping children safe and as well as supporting our foster parents. Children entering the foster system can be placed all over the state. Edna is working to keep children here in the same community. It is it is that detrimental kind of thing um, where we're looking at, okay, well, it wasn't just taking them away from the home that posed a risk for them and the caregivers that placed them at risk or, you know, abused or neglected them, but then we're taking all their ties away from them. And so that's really what the need that we're trying to address. There's a growing need for more helping hands. The more families that we're able to verify as foster parents and the more children we're able to um, keep within our community and serve within our community. Last year, the State Department of Family and Protective Services reported over 1,900 children were placed in foster care just in our four counties. Hands of Healing shared this message on social media, calling for people to look into becoming foster parents. Edna says it's a rewarding experience. You know, be, be that one person that, that's stable for them and that's going to keep them safe and that they feel secure and uh, so secure that they're going to show everything, right? That they're going to show their anger, they're going to show their frustration, uh, knowing that they're still going to be safe. Putting local first in Harlingen, I'm Jeremiah Wilcox. There are requirements like passing a background check. Head on over to valleycentral.com where we'll have more information if you would like to become a foster parent.